today's video, I'm gonna be, sh I'm gonna show you how to deal with crappy clients. This is one of the things that I know I really struggled with. And before we break that down, I, I have to explain this because it's something that you might be unaware of within your own business. And I certainly was, I was definitely unaware of this until I figured it out. And it took me a couple of years to figure this out. But the reason why I had crappy clients within my, my program is because I attracted crappy clients into my program. I had zero expectations with clients. They could come really whenever they wanted. They could text me the night before and say, hey Ben, uh, we can't come tomorrow because Johnny has a basketball game. Or we can't come tomorrow because we're going out of town. Um, and be like, oh, okay, well, I'll see you next week. <laughs> and then like that session I wouldn't get paid. Or they would show up late. Or they, their kid would not have any enthusiasm when they trained with me. They didn't want to be there. They were there just because their parents wanted to be there. So that to me defines a crappy client. Someone that you do not ultimately want to work with, but they're there in your program, they're wasting time, and they're not really getting any value, and neither are you, okay? And so what we need to do though, is think about how are you getting clients into your program? And what are your expectations? Do you have any expectations? Most coaches when they start, they don't. They just want to get clients and they want to train whoever because they need the business. And I get it, I understand that. But at the same time, you have to really value yourself really high and understand that if you are attracting clients in your program, they should be the perfect ideal clients that you want to work with because isn't that the whole reason why you're starting this business in the first place is so you can have fun and do something that's like way more enjoyable than working a nine to five job, right? And if that's set up, well, then we should have expectations. And your clients need to meet your expectations. And if you don't have any expectations, well, they're gonna run all over you. And so the way you deal with crappy clients is first, don't accept crappy clients. If you have a parent you're talking to over the phone, they're like, hey, well, we wanna train with you, but you know, we can't afford it right now. Can you give us a discount? Or you know, we can't come once a week uh, because we're gonna be too busy. Can we train with you like three or four times over the course of the next four months? Or can we, can we buy this package and use this throughout the rest of the year? Like, no, you gotta set your own standards and those standards gotta be high. If they're not high, again, if, you're, if you have zero standards, you're gonna meet standards of crappy clients. People who are uncommitted, they're not gonna pay on time, their kids will never ever get results with you and ultimately that will give you a headache every time you're driving out to the park to train that kid because you know in your head, oh, I hate training this kid. And that's just me being honest. That really sucks and that defeats the whole purpose again of starting this type of business. And instead, when we raise our standards, when you lay out this is the investment, this is the commitment, this is who I train, this is the results that we're gonna get. Is your son committed? Is your son gonna follow through with everything I tell him to do outside of our session? And then you meet that kid and you realize, yeah, this kid is the perfect type of client for me. When that is set up, then you enjoy your business a lot more and ultimately you're gonna get paid way more when you have clients who are more committed. That's just the way it works. And I've seen a lot of coaches over the last couple of years who have shifted their mindset about themselves first. They've realized, you know what? I have to change my expectations and set them high so this way I can attract the right clients into my program. And once they do that, they're going to make way more money with their business because now they are charging more for a more premium service. And that's really what I teach. That's what I teach coaches in our mastermind program. When you click on this button up here, you'll be taken to a page where you can learn all about the program. You can see results from clients who've gone through it. And uh, if that's you, if you're serious, that is the ideal next logical step for you. If you enjoy our videos here, that is gonna help you out. And I, I know I'd love for you to be our next success story. So that's it for the video. I'll talk to you soon.